Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you exactly how to use an OBD2 scanner to diagnose your car's problems, step by step. By the end, you'll know how to read and clear error codes like a pro. An OBD2 scanner is a tool that connects to your car's onboard computer. It helps you read trouble codes, find out why the engine light is on, and sometimes even check live data like fuel trim, oxygen sensors, and more. First, locate your OBD2 port. In most cars, it's right under the dashboard on the driver's side. Some vehicles may have it near the center console or under a small cover. If you can't find it, check your owner's manual. Next, plug in the OBD2 scanner. Most tools will power on automatically once connected to your vehicle. Turn your ignition key to the on position, but don't start the engine. This gives the scanner access to your car's computer. Now on your scanner, use the menu to select your vehicle and enter diagnostic mode. Each scanner is a little different, but most have clear menus for reading codes, checking vehicle information, and more. Choose Read Codes. The scanner will pull up Diagnostic Trouble Codes, or DTCs. Each code starts with a letter like P, B, C, or U, followed by numbers. For example, P0300 means random misfires. You can look up these codes in the manual or online to understand what's wrong. If you fix the problem or just want to reset the check engine light, select Clear Codes. But remember, if the issue isn't fixed, the light will come back. Many OBD2 scanners also let you check live data, like engine RPM, oxygen sensors, coolant temperature, and more. This helps you monitor your car in real time. So let's go. Some scanners also show freeze frame data. That's a snapshot of your car's condition at the exact moment the fault happened. It tells you things like engine load, speed, and temperature when the code was stored. Super helpful for diagnosing tricky issues. Always write down the codes before clearing them so you don't lose track. And remember, OBD2 scanners help with diagnosis, but they don't fix the problem themselves. And that's how you use an OBD2 scanner, step by step. If this video helped, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you want me to cover specific scanners in future videos. Thanks for watching.